Hi, uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to start up uh, the LSM 710. So um, the startup instructions are here on this piece of paper. Um, this piece of paper is usually somewhere in this room, typically here. Um, sometimes it's on this desk, sometimes it's on that desk, but somewhere in the room, this piece of paper with the startup instructions um, is, is there. So we're going to go through these, but be because these are sort of COVID times, uh, we have some additional uh, things that we need to make sure we're doing properly uh, before we start with those startup instructions. And these are personal protective equipment and disinfection. So the personal protective equipment required for this system are gloves and a face mask. So you can see um, we have both. So let's talk about disinfection. So we need to do these things before and after we use the system. Um, so before we use the system, we, wipe, we, we need to wipe with pure ethanol on lens paper the eyepieces, and then with 70% ethanol on paper towels or Kim wipes, the keyboard, the mouse, the knobs, the joystick, and the touchscreen. So let me show you how to do that. So first we can remove the dust cover. <clears throat> You'll see here on this table, or you know, sometimes it's over there, we have, this is 100% ethanol, so we'll use this in combination with lens paper to clean the eyepieces. We will use the 70% ethanol in combination with Kim wipes to clean the knobs, the joystick, the touch screen, the keyboard, and the mouse. Okay, I can't do those things one-handed, um, so I will do them and then we'll continue the startup video. I've concluded the disinfection. So now let's actually start starting the system. So the first thing we're gonna do is to turn on the mercury power supply and wait for the two green lights. That's item number one. You can see here, mercury power supply, number one. Turn this on. And then these are the two lights that we're going to wait till both are on before we continue. All right. So the next step is to turn on the main switch. That's number two, main switch. Third step is to turn the key on the argon laser power supply to horizontal. You can see it's this. The next step is to turn on the system's PC switch and wait for the definite focus box to lead off. System's PC. And so this is the definite focus box and you can see it says starting system and this will uh, start different components and you can see that progress bar and at the end it will say off which is very confusing because we're turning the system on uh, but it's just because the last thing it turns uh, on to check is an optional component that it turns on checks that it works and then it says uh, off i wish it said ready but it doesn't it says off and off means that we're starting it up correctly so we just need to wait until that point there we go so that's what it should Okay, the next step is to turn on the computer and wait for the MSL login. See, you can start the computer from here. So it is very important to wait for the MSL login. If you don't, if you move to the next step, which is to turn on the component switch without waiting for the proper uh, startup of the computer, the system will fail much later. So please wait, uh, else you're just going to cause trouble for you later on. Okay, so this is the screen that you're looking for. You want to get to this point before you go to the next step. All right, so the next step is to turn on the component switch and wait for six, for 30 seconds. So I'm going to turn the component switch on and then wait for 30 seconds. The microscope is going to make a bunch of noise. And once that's done, we'll continue. Okay, so I waited for 30 seconds. The next step is to press the microscope button on the touch screen. This will give us access to this dialog box, which allows us to uh, change objectives easily. So we've done that. Select microscope on the touch screen, and now we need to log in and start Zen. So there's no password on this computer. We can just click on LSM user. And once we start it up, 
and it finishes loading everything, we can double click on send. It will give us this dialog box where it gives us the option to either start the system or image processing. We're going to say start system. If there are any problems during startup, they will show up as a white box down here with some sort of hard to parse out messages. If that happens, please let the staff know. Depending on what it says there, we can solve those problems by resetting the system in different ways. Or um, if it's a severe problem, we need to call Zeiss to, to fix it. Uh, these systems are very reliable, so it's very rare that that happens. Uh, maybe it happens 2% of the time, 2.5% of the time historically. But if it does happen, again, something white will show up here, a little box with some messages in it. Just let the staff know. Okay, so the system has now started up completely. You can see there's a locate and an acquisition tab. I have another video that discusses the LSM 700 uh, where I go into detail on how to use those. Um, for now, let me just show you uh, one thing that's a little bit different on the 710, which is uh, the, the sample holder for the stage. 